top French Air and Space Force official told reporters this week that the Franco-German-Spanish Future Combat Air Systems FCAS, effort is considering four different fighter designs, with a final choice in the first quarter of 2025. Mayor General Jean-Luc Moritz, who is leading the French trilateral segment of the effort, also known by its French acronym SCAF, told reporters on Thursday that he said he would deselect the two designs by June 2024 and have a final design by March in 2025. As Europe plans to field two sixth-generation fighter jets separately by 2040, those ambitions are often beset by confusion. Due to the somewhat confusing decision by both teams to call their program the Future Combat Air System FCAS. Even more complicated is the December 2022 agreement signed by the UK, Italy and Japan that creates the Global Combat Air Program GCAP, which is linked and independent to the UK-led FCAS effort. UK first stated its intention to launch the Future Combat Air Systems Technology Initiative, technically known as FCAS-T, but later shortened to just FCAS, in the 2015 Strategic Defense and Security Review. FCAS is supposed to leverage British industrial technology that would create a new aircraft or series of future capabilities to replace the Royal Air Force's Eurofighter Typhoon. Even at an early stage and without firm requirements, London decided that it would also focus on an international by design approach, which will help determine the best construction partnership capable of developing the sixth generation aircraft and maximizing export potential, according to the 2018 Combat Air Strategy. As one British Member of Parliament defined it in 2019, the term future combat air systems can refer to any number of international air projects or systems under development, including a UK program to replace Typhoon capabilities from 2040 onwards. In line with the combat air strategy, then UK Defence Secretary Gavin Williamson unveiled the Tempest concept aircraft at the Farnborough Air Show in 2018. With UK suppliers BAE Systems, Leonardo, MBDA and Rolls-Royce listed as Team Tempest partners and supported by the RAF Rapid Capabilities Office. At a national level, the UK is working closely with Italy in this effort. Think of it this way, FCAS is an umbrella family of systems and covers the development of other technologies as well as designs for future combat aircraft. The Tempest was a fighter aircraft research and development effort, the UK did not have a fixed budget set for procuring X number of Tempests by Y date. The final product may not be known by that name. The UK plans to fly Tempest demonstrator aircraft in 2027, and this will help to better understand the capabilities of the new fighter jet. Britain's next fighter may look very similar to the Tempest, or lessons learned could mean that a completely new design is the right choice. We won't really know for years. Under a statement of intended agreement in September 2019, Italy signed an FCAS effort with British industry and Italy also agreed to collaborate on the development of future fighter jets. Italy's motivation for joining this British-led effort was explained by Italian Air Force Chief of Staff Luca Goretti, when he said that Italy could play a bigger role in the project compared to the France-Germany-Spain FCAS program, we'll get to that one, according to Reuters. Announced at the end of 2022, UCAP, which is a team from the UK, Italy and Japan, has the ultimate goal of producing a sixth-generation fighter jet by 2035. 
supported by loyal wingman drones or combat drones, new weapons, and advanced data systems. The fighter jets and support aircraft under development will ultimately replace the British and Italian Eurofighter Typhoon and Mitsubishi F-2 platforms in Japan's case. The rollout of GCAP's core platform concept will begin in 2025, and all partners are scheduled to sign cost-sharing agreements first. The agreement will be based on a joint assessment of national costs and budgets, according to the UK Ministry of Defence. Historically, joint Franco-German defense programs have been fraught with difficulties and FCAS appears to be following in their footsteps. Apart from the usual disputes over the division of labor, major European defense programs are often concerned with domestic economic benefits as well as national security. There is a clear gap in future fighter aircraft operational requirements between the two. The biggest, nuclear delivery and long-range strike missions are at the forefront of France's ambitions. However, this is not the case with Germany which has continually had to grapple politically with its refusal to equip aircraft with nuclear weapons and has committed to purchasing F-35s for the mission. The main difference was that FCAS would seek to develop a manned supersonic fighter demonstration aircraft, relying largely on British industry and technology. While GCAP will see the UK, Italy and Japan working together, to develop and assemble a sixth-generation fighter, in an effort to meet the challenge. So, it can be concluded that FCAS is led by England, while Tempest is a collaboration between England, Italy, and Japan and CAP is a combination of England, Italy, and Japan, and finally SCAF with France, Germany, and Spain.